Hello everyone, I know this is a little bit of a weird way to start a kind of a vlog video. Today is the day. Today is the day when I get to start building my trailer. So at the moment I'm just on the way to my parents' house. I'm going to sit down with my dad, show him the plans that I've drawn up for it. I'm also going to strip off the wood from the trailer chassis that I've got at the moment. It's just got some simple plyboard and foam over the top of it. Clear that off so we can see what we're working with. I'm very excited. So that's what we're starting with. That's, that's the basis of it. That's the underside. It's pretty good. Again, it's all galvanized steel. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, tires on it as well. The tires are, look actually fairly new, which is quite good. It's rusty and anything, so we're gonna sort all that out. a lot of hinge choice. Okay, it's coming on stage one. We've currently got a lovely colour paint, which will bring out golden brown. I'm just going to prime the boards for stage one. Yeah, it's just taking us an hour, and we are now up to this stage. <laughs> and Dad has wire brushed the axle. That's gross. Um, and yeah, that's where we're at so far. And second coat on those. They're not pink. Okay, so what we've gone with at the moment is at the back there. It's going to go out to six feet out here. So we're going to come back in again to just over five, kind of in line with this with this frame there. I'm going to come back out again in the box, it's going to come all the way down here and then it's going to angle back into five feet about there where my where my wax mark is to so then kind of just equal out with the car so we can actually tow it and it'd be sensible. But it hasn't been cleaned for a while. Showing the grit and the grossness the spiders. <laughs> at the moment it's horrible weather. It was raining a little while ago to spits, but what we're doing at the moment is marking up the wheel arch pieces that are going to sit either side. Um, that then is going to be shunted back, but then going to get another piece brought forwards. That then is going to come in from a six foot width on either side to a five foot with a stove ending up being up here. Um, spare space up top, which I probably might end up mounting like a spare tire or something up there later on. But yeah, also this is the underside, so you're not going to see this, it's just been treated so it doesn't, doesn't rot or anything in transit. Um, going well worryingly well okay so update on the project we have done half of the base so far it's mostly cladded out it's cut to size and um, we're just doing the we're actually now just bolting it through and onto the steel base bit of a problem is that we didn't think about where the original holes through the steel frame come up through with our battening so a couple of the holes that we've drilled through sit on half of the batten which is a bit annoying so we're then having to use chops of wood so they, they actually sit properly on there. We don't have um, a countersink bit that we can use um, that is the same width as um, the washers that we're using either so the tops of the bolts sit higher um, and would technically in, intrude on the space that the floor is going to sit on. So we have to countersink those, so I now need to go, go get a countersink for them. Um, and also the bolts that we're using, very, very heavy duty bolts, which is good, so it's not going to slide off. But the only problem with it is that the we didn't check the actual hole size first. So the bolts we've got just fit through. Um, so what I now need to go do is get an HSS uh, drill bit so I can drill through the holes to make them slightly wider to accommodate for the bolts that we've got. So I'm now just nipping to home base to go and grab those bits. At the moment the total cost is about £100. Um, 
um, or 200 if you include the actual chassis itself. Um, so it's still well within my 500 budget in total. Um, and yeah, we should be able to get, get all of the floor done and insulated. It won't have a top on it because I still haven't decided what I want to do for that. It's either going to be plyboard um, or I don't know. My dad's saying laminate laminate flooring which would be quite nice to be fancy um, but I'm thinking just put something basic down chuck some lino over it so when it gets muddy I can just wash it like literally just put a bucket of water down on the floor mop it out swish it outside let it dry it's moving slower than I thought it would however faster than expected I know that sounds weird but it's like I always think things will move at a certain pace and then they actually move a lot slower so I thought it was going to be a lot quicker to do, but in my head I went, oh no, it's probably actually going to move this fast. And then it's turning out to move faster than I thought it was, like a lot of stuff is happening. We've only actually been working on it now for or nearly four hours, um, which is pretty good. And it's, yeah, the, so the floor, half of the floor is now nearly done, we're just bolting it down to the actual frame. Um, and then we'll start on the other half of the base and bolt that down as well. Roundabouts, man. Use your indicators. Or else I will kill you. Okay, so we didn't get everything we needed. We needed a countersink. Got a countersink. We needed like a ratchet bit to go around the top of the thing so we can just drill them in. Got that. Um, but did not get the stainless steel drill bit because that was £10 for a drill bit which seems a bit too much to be honest so we just got these winner winner chicken you know except I can't eat chicken mm. okay cool right so we are at the end of day one it's now quarter to six so I've been doing this for We've been building for what, six hours now? But it's been eight hours roughly in total. Um, so that's what we've got. To be fair, a lot of that time was ripping it to build. That is true. We spent like an hour and 20 minutes ripping it apart. But yeah, so we've now got this, which is a nice frame. Changed how it's going to be. So the door's actually going to be at the front. There's going to be like a little fancy patio bit, <laughs> like, a, like a stand thing. A gazebo. A gazebo um, with a fold up top, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's actually, there's actually a lot of space to it. Also, I don't know when I'm going to post this, so... Just have fun. Okay, so actual end of day one. We've managed to pinch it off. Um, this is now half six. And that's where we are. So, next time we're going to put in the foam between there, which is a saw blade's width, so what we can do is stick it down, grab a saw, and basically skim it to the right height, because our heights were a bit wrong. Um, we're going to chuck in that there, so that's another saw blade width. Um, then we're going to skin it with probably 3mm ply and build the walls. But it's Easter weekend, so we have to go and get that stuff tomorrow to then have it ready for Sunday when we're going to be doing it. And Sunday should also rain. Okay, so we are done now for the day. Um, I'm on the way home and there's something that needs to be done. Papa John's. Oh! Domino's pizza. But I've only got a heart for one pizza, and that's Senor Papa John's. I love Papa John. He's gonna be in my body. Okay, so, went to Papa John's. Got the beef brisket ones. Now, Sophie doesn't like the, um, sorry about the weird angle, I've got it attached to something else at the moment. Sophie doesn't like the weird angle. So it's like the weird sauce that comes with it because it's like a sweet cola sauce. She's not a fan. So I was gonna get one with, one without, you know. One for her, one for me. They managed to convince me that two two large pizzas was best. So I went to go grab them. However, they'd put sauce on both. Bad times. So they remade them. It's brilliant. And I took I took the new one and I took one of the old ones. And I was like, thank you very much. And I thought I just I've been polite. I've said don't worry about it. It happens. Mistakes. Mistakes get made. So 
I thought I'd just ask how much it will be. So I said to them, I said to the lady, I turned around and I said to her, that other one that's going to be thrown away, can I give it a home? How much for that extra pizza? And she turned around to me. She looked me dead in the face. And she said, you can have it. To apologise. Do you know what? That's good customer service. And that is why... Oh, ambulance. That is why... Domino's... That is why Pizza Hut, apart from their all-you-can-eat buffet because that's just ridiculous value for money, can suck it. But Papa John's, if you would ever, ever like to sponsor me, ever, I would basically do anything. Because I love it, that double XL. No one else has a double XL. You dare to dream, John. So yeah, this is end of day one.